Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Miss Ward and my friend Lavender, and we're here with the last lesson of chapter three, 3.6, explaining sunset to sigh. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. As a quick reminder, we've been working as sky scientists so far to help explain why it changed from daytime to nighttime while Sai was on the phone with his grandma. So let's see if we have enough information now to answer our chapter three question. So it's why did daytime change to nighttime while Sai talked on the phone? Go ahead and talk to your stuffy buddy or somebody else who's in the room or even your thumb and talk about what you think the answer is to this question. Go ahead. Does anybody want to share with me why did daytime change to nighttime while Sai talked on the phone? Thanks. Okay, so let's try to answer the question we've been investigating so far. Why do we see the sun in different places in the sky during the daytime and then not at all at nighttime? So I think Lavender has an idea. Before I show you guys Lavender's idea, what's yours? Why do we see the sun in different places? Yeah, the earth spins. Okay, so this one is a little bit trickier. What is our evidence that makes us think earth spin is the reason why we see the sun in different places in the sky? So I'm gonna give us some help on this one. I've been recording all of the evidence as we've been gathering it, and I've put it right here on our board back here. So you can see all our different pieces of evidence. So we have our sky mural, we have our investigation with Mount Nose and when we were spinning, we have our horizon pictures, we have that video we saw of Earth spin, we have uh, what we learned from our book, What Spins. So how can you use this evidence to help us answer our question? So many lessons ago, we put this pink sticker right here on the globe to show where we are on Earth, or at least where I am on Earth. And because we remember that Sai also lives in a place near us here in Seattle. So this shows where Sai is on Earth too. You guys see that? So we're gonna go ahead and go out into uh, the stars, right? And I want you guys to tell me how to hold the globe so that it shows that it's daytime where we are, okay? Give me a second, I'm gonna go out into the stars. Okay guys, here we are out in the stars. Here is Psy right here, our pink sticker. Which way should I face the globe so that Psy is having daytime? If it's daytime for Psy, which way should I point in this way? Should I point in this way? You tell me, point to where I should have Psy, so that pink sticker pointing, so that Psy has daytime. All right, nice work. That was fun, we should do that again, and we're going to. So we're gonna go back out onto our daytime and nighttime chart. And I'm gonna spin the globe, and you're gonna pay really close attention to that pink sticker again, okay? And when it's daytime with Psy, 
I want you to make a circle with your arms over your head, just like lavender does here, right? To show it's daytime. And you can even say daytime. And then when it's nighttime for Psy, I want you to spread your fingers out like stars. And you can even say nighttime and pay really close attention to when it's daytime for Psy and when it's nighttime for Psy. We're gonna do it right now. You guys ready? Here we go. Okay, here we are out in the stars again. I'm gonna duck down in a second so you can just see the globe. But remember, here's the pink dot and you're gonna imagine that size right here on this pink dot and you're gonna say when it's daytime and when it's nighttime and I'm gonna make the earth spin. You guys ready? Here we go. Make sure you're moving and shouting out. When is it daytime? When is it nighttime for Psy? Whew, that was harder than it looked. Good job, guys. Let's do the mountain nose activity again. This time we're gonna pretend that Psy lives on Mount Nose and imagine he's standing at the top looking at the sky. And remember, our head represents the earth. We're imagining Psy is right here on top of our nose, okay? And the screen is gonna represent the sun. So I'm gonna have my sun puppet up here, okay? And I have my stars card behind me. We're gonna pretend that when you're not facing the screen, that's some stars. Okay, let's go ahead and do the Mount Nose role play, imagining Psy is right here on the tip of Mount Nose. Okay, guys, stand up and spin slowly, slowly, slowly. Remember, don't turn your head, turn your whole body together, okay? And when it's daytime for Psy, so when you can see the screen and the sun, make a circle with your arms over your head. And when it's nighttime for Psy, spread your fingers out like stars. Go ahead and spin. Nice and slow. Pay close attention. When is it daytime? When can you see the sun? When can you see the stars? All right, nice work. I've got some big questions for you guys now. How did you decide while you were spinning when it was daytime and when it was nighttime? Go ahead and tell me, how did you decide when it was daytime or nighttime? That's really good thinking. And I saw some people out there using their bodies to show me how you decided. That's perfect. That's just what I wanted, right? Here's my next question. What made it change from daytime to nighttime when you were spinning? What made it change? Nice job. You guys did such a great job answering my questions. I want to make sure you have one more chance to talk about your ideas with a partner. So either a Stephanie or if you have someone in the room or you can even talk to your thumb. So partner A is going to share. So whoever you decide partner A is and partner B is going to listen. Then partner B is going to respond and tell partner A if they agree or disagree, right? So Lavender's gonna say, yes, I agree, or no, I disagree. 
and then you're going to switch so that the other person has a chance to share. Here's my question I want you to discuss with your partner. Why did daytime change to nighttime while Sai talked on the phone? And I even have some words here you can use to help you frame your answer. So it changed from, what do you think we put here? Yeah, either daytime or nighttime, right? So it changed from to, and again, you put daytime or nighttime here, because, and then this is where you'd say why you think it changed that way, right? I'm gonna stop talking so you guys have a chance to talk to your partner. Why did daytime change to nighttime while Sai talked on the phone? Do you guys remember our what scientists do chart? This one I have back here. <laughs> I have my stars covering it. Hold on, let me move my stars. There we go. Um, so we're going to talk about how we communicate to Sai. And because Sai isn't with us right now, we're going to write to Sai to share with him the new things that we've learned. So this is how we're going to write together. You're going to talk to me about your ideas and help decide what I should write. And then I'm going to write our ideas on the chart. When this video is done, you can grab a piece of paper and something to write with, and you can write your own ideas down based off of what we talked about. Let's get started. All we have left today is to write to Sai. So I have our little words here to help us um, get started. So I have it changed from, to, because, and we're gonna use those to answer our questions. So what should we tell Sai about earth spin and the change from daytime to nighttime. What should I write? Okay, let me write what I heard. I heard it changed from daytime to nighttime because the earth spins. Let's read it together. So it changed from daytime to nighttime because the earth spins. We did it. Nice job, you guys. All right, I'll see you next time. Remember, you can write a letter to Sai on your own before we get back together next time. Bye.